how would you recommend, let's say I'm just starting out. I haven't taken the LSAT. I haven't taken the GMAT. I haven't taken the GRE. I really want to go to UVA. How should I decide which one to take? Yeah. So <laughs> it was almost simpler in my day when you really only had one option. <laughs> um, but but I, what I would say is familiarize yourself a little bit with each of the tests, right? Mm. At the end of the day, I see people who have submitted an LSAT and a GRE or an LSAT and a GMAT or a GRE and a GMAT. And guess what? Nobody is getting 99th percentile on the LSAT and 80th on the GRE. You're right. going to perform roughly the same on across all three tests in terms of percentile. Yeah. They are not that different. So I don't think it's going to be a make or break moment. Now, what I will say is you have to do your research because if law school is your goal, not every law school, even today in 2022, accepts GRE or GMAT. So if you're trying to apply to a broad range of schools, LSAT could still today be your safest bet. But if you, if you know for a fact that all of your schools you're applying to accept all three tests, just familiarize yourself with each of the three, maybe take a practice exam or two. Maybe it's possible that one of them will, will sort of resonate with you more. But again, I, I wouldn't agonize over it. I, I do know the GRE historically was more available, but now that we have the LSAT Flex, the LSAT Flex is being offered more. You can take it remotely. So they've really kind of narrowed the gap in that sense.